Hey guys, this is WaterRap24 from MondayMorningMTG.com and today I have the event deck for the 2014 Corset or M14 and it is Rush of the Wild because it is a Gruul deck. It's mostly based around the Gruul cards from Gate Crash and Dragon's Maze with some M14 cards involved. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Now, if you haven't watched any event decks or any event deck videos before, and you don't know what an event deck is, or anything like that, an event deck is a 60 card deck that you can play right out of the box at a tournament. It has 10 rares in it, comes with a spin down life counter, and it also even includes a 15 card sideboard. So it's so much better than an intro pack. You can buy an intro pack for, what, like $15. This you can get, get for 20 25 it has 10 rares, no foils, but it's got 10 rares. It's a complete 60-card deck with 75-card sideboard with cards from multiple sets. So if you are getting into the game and you want to play in a tournament right off the bat, uh, try getting one of these. Anyway, we have our spin down from in here. It's going to be one of the M14 ones. It can be any of the five colors. Here we just have the black-white one. And you can obviously see the M14 right there. Then we have the sideboard, but we'll get to that later. And then we have the actual whole deck here. Of course, before we get to those, um, we also have a nice divider there. And then we also have a how to play guide for M14, which is just one of those things you get on how to play magic. It's in like every sealed product they have. Intro packs, event decks, deck builders, toolkits, fat packs. Not booster boxes, but then again, booster boxes are mostly for resale, but some people can, but people still get to buy them. It's not like a here's a deck or here's a set of all kinds of stuff for building stuff. Anyway, here we have the 2014 core set Rush of the Wild deck. It has an entire section on explaining how you play the deck. It's all right here, how the sideboard and sideboarding works. Um, whole deck list. I believe it's in the order that it's actually here. Actually it is. This is the exact order of the decks, or of the cards in the deck. Tournaments and events. Explains about how that works. Formats. Tips for successful events, just basic stuff. Um, I'm going to read that later. I don't really need to read the, it out loud necessarily. It just talks about how how you're supposed to play the deck and like some things you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do them, etc. and so forth. So let's start out by going ahead and opening the actual deck. These are brand new crisp mint cards. Yep, even smell new. Smell a bit plasticky too, but that's that's beside the point. Okay, so starting out we have I believe four elvish mystics. They're one green. Yep, four. They're one ones from M14. You tap to add green to your mana pool. Can't do this first turn, but you can do it second turn. Great for mana acceleration. It's just absolutely wonderful. Then we have two Rakdos Cacklers. It's a red or a black. In this case, it can only be red because there's no black in the deck. So you're going to be paying red for it. It's 1-1 one, one with Unleash, which is the Return to Ravnica keyword of... You may have this creature in the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. And if you do this, it can't block as long as it has the plus one, plus one counter on it. Next, we have two Dryad Militants, also from Return to Ravnica where you can pay either white or green. In this case, you'd be paying only green. And it's 2-1, and it says, if an instant or sorcery card would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. So that's already 8-1 drops, which is just awesome off the top. Two Colonian Tuskers. Two green for a 3-3. Three, three. Uncommons from M14. These are, I would say, definitely better than um, the... Oh, Strangler Root Geists from Dark Ascension, because those were 
two green for a two one with undying that turns into a three two. This is already three three off the bat, so this is supposed to replace it. Maybe not better, but still, it's a better start than having a two one that turns into a three two after it dies. You actually have a three three right there, turn two. Next, we have two Scarg Guild Mages. It's a green and a red. It's a two two, and for a red and a green. Creature you control gain trample until end of turn, or, or and you can also do red, green, and one for a target land you control becomes a 4-4 four, four elemental creature until end of turn and it's still a land. Of course, uh, one thing to note, if you play a fourth land, you tap a three you already had to turn that new land into a 4-4 four, four elemental creature, it still has summoning sickness because the land entered the battlefield. Lands can tap but if they become creatures, they're still subjected to summoning sickness if they just came into play this turn. So just a point to note there. I ran into that several times at FNM tonight. Um, next up, two Burning Tree Emissaries. You can pay double red, double green, or a red and a green for this 2-2, and when it enters, you add a red and a green to your mana pool. So essentially, you're casting it for free, which is really awesome. That's an uncommon from Gate Crash. So that lets you pay. That lets you play a couple other things. Right now we have a Dragon's Maze rare, Pyre Wild Shaman, and oh, the focus is off. There we go. It's a three-one with Blood Rush. Well, well, we'll get to the Blood Rush in a second, but it's a three-one for three, where whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, if it's in your graveyard, you may pay three. If you do, return it to your hand. But the Blood Rush is you pay a red and one to discard it, and target attacking creature gets plus three, plus one until end of turn, which is pretty awesome there. In addition to that, we have three Slaughter Horns from Gate Crash, where it's a green and two for three, two, but it's Blood Rush cost of one green where you discard it for target attacking creature to get plus three, plus two until end of turn. So those uh, pump spells for one are pretty awesome. But they also tie in here with Wild Beastmaster, which is a green and two for a 1-1, one, one, and it's a rare from Return to Ravnica. But whenever it attacks, each other creature you control gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is its power. That's why when you attack, you blood rush things on here, so you pump this up. Like if you did the... Um, if you discarded Slaughterhorn and gave this the plus three plus two... This would be a 4-3, and all your attacking creatures, or all the other attacking creatures get plus 4, plus 4 in that case, because that would be the current power on it, which is a great way to end the game in your favor. Next one, Ogle, Ogle, Ogre Battle Driver, double red and 2 for a 3-3, three, three. and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, that creature gets plus 2, plus 0, and gains haste until end of turn. Really awesome. It's from M14. Next up, we have a Dead Bridge Goliath. Double green and two for a 5-5. Five, five. It's a rare, and it has scavenge of double green and four, where you exile it from your graveyard, and you put a number of plus one, plus one counters equal to this card's power on target creature. And you scavenge only as a sorcery. Next, we have... Oh, this is completely awesome. Four... Gore Clan Rampagers, where it's a red, green, a red, a green, and two colorless for a 4-4 four, four with Trample. And Blood Rush is a red and a green to discard, where target attacking creature gets plus 4, plus 4, and gains Trample until end of turn. That is definitely completely awesome, where you can pump creatures like that, or you have a 4-4 four, four Trampler. Next we have one Rubble Belt Raiders from Gate Crash. It's one with any combination of... Red and green filling the other three slots. So it's four converted mana cost, and I don't really want to have to work out the triple red, triple, triple green, double red and green, double green and red, and the... Yeah, all that fun stuff. Okay, so it's a 3-3 three, three for four mana, and whenever it attacks, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each attacking creature you control, which is pretty nice. Next up, we have a rare Wrecking Ogre from Gate Crash. And it is a red, 
and four for a three three with double strike. You can also discard for the same thing except instead of a red and four, it's double red and three, where a tar target attacking creature gets plus three plus three and gains double strike until end of turn. Also pretty awesome. Okay, so now we're here at the land base. So we have four Gruel Guild Gates. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, Gruel Guild Gate. Kind of expect that because you're going to need the dual lands. Then we have a Rogue's Passage, which is an uncommon from Return to Ravnica. You tap to add a colorless to your mana pool or pay four and tap for target creature to be unblockable this turn. Then one of the really awesome things which makes the deck really worth it, Stomping Ground. Where When it enters the battlefield, it's a shock land, of course, so it's a land mountain forest. And as it enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it comes into the battlefield tapped. So if you pay the two, it enters normally. Then, for the lands, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve forests, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six mountains. There is more green than red in here, but there's still the uh, Stomping Ground and four Gruel Guild Gates. Okay, so as far as spells go, we have three shocks, which of course just deals two damage to target creature or player for one mana. Mizium Moors, which is one red for one, or one, one red and a colorless, and it deals four damage to target creature you don't control, or you can overload it for triple red and three for it, dealing to, for it to deal four damage to all creatures you don't control, or every creature you don't control is the proper text. Okay, then we have a Gruel Charm. Red and green, where you can choose one. Creatures that flying can't block this turn, or gain control of all permanents you own. Or Gruel Charm deals three damage to each creature with flying. Yep, that's pretty sweet there. Then we have two Flames of the Firebrand. A red, which is a red and two, and it deals three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three target creatures and or players. I mean, it's not the best spell, but the fact you can break it up is pretty good for three. Next, we have a Clan Defiance, which is X, red, and three. Ah, sorry, X, red, and green. And it's a sorcery. You choose one or more. It deals X damage to target creature with flying. deals X damage to target creature without flying. And or it deals X damage to target player. So that's pretty sweet. You could choose all three, just two of them, or even just one, depending on what you want to do. Of course, I do at least two abilities where you're destroying a creature and dealing that much damage to the controller. Last but not least, the last card in here is an Armed and Dangerous. Armed is a red and one. Dangerous is a green and three. Armed says target creature gets plus one, plus one, gains double strike until end of turn. Dangerous says all creatures able to block target creature this turn do so. And you can fuse them where you pay four colorless, a red, and a green to do both. And that's an uncommon from Dragon's Maze. So that's the deck. Pretty solid. I would change a few things like take the shocks out, replace them with something else. Can't think off the top of my head what the something else would be. Maybe more gruel charms and less than the sideboard. And yeah, I'd change the shocks to something else. Maybe like Searing Spear or something instead. Now moving on to the sideboard. This is like a it's like a clear booster pack because it's got the same crimpage of it and on top of that, well, it opens the other way instead of like the 60 card decks that, yeah. Anyway, so we have Savage Summoning, which is one green and it can't be countered. The next creature card you cast this turn can be cast as though, oh yeah, this can't be countered. And the next creature card you cast this turn can be cast as though it had flash. That spell can't be countered. That creature ends the battlefield with, with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. I would actually put more of these in here, probably. Oh, I don't want to put that with the deck. Then we have three skull cracks. There we go. I put skull cracks in there, probably. Players can't gain life this turn. Damage can't be, can't be prevented this turn. Skull crack deals three damage to target player. And it's red and one. We have three of those. Next, we have two naturalizes. A green and one, where you destroy target artifact or enchantment. 
Okay, that's normal. Two more Gruel Charms, red and green. Again, choose one. Creatures without flying can't block this turn or gain control of all permanents you own, or it deals three damage to each creature with flying. Next we have two Active Treasons. It's a red and two, where you gain control of target creature until end of turn. You untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn. But this can only be played on your turn. Because it's a sorcery. Next we have Annihilating Fire. Double red and one, it deals three damage to target creature or player. If a creature dealt damage this way, it would die this turn, exile it instead. Not bad. And last but not least, two enlarges, which is double green and three, where target creature gets plus seven, plus seven, and gains trample until end of turn. It must be blocked this turn if able. So, yes. That's from M14, it's an uncommon. And that is the entire event deck. Your 15 card sideboard, your 60 card deck, and of course the box with the die spin down life counter in it. So there you have it. That is the M14 Rush of the Wild event deck. And of course is the only event deck since after, since starting with Dragon's Maze, they only printed one event deck per set. But you get more rares in it, so I mean I can't complain. Same price, more rares, only one. Yeah, it's cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.